Okay, so what rack are we? I'll make a Six rubbish rack, wouldn't I? So, yeah, frame seven, judge 42. So it's frame seven, 42. Brilliant. Let's go. Right. Here we go then. One's going to go in somewhere. There we go. Yes. Straight in. Oh. Well, this, I think this the is brakes. the only rule I know. Is this, is this the time to push out? Yeah. Yeah? So this is where I want to leave it somewhere awkward, but you can make me play again, can't you? Yeah. I think. Yeah. That's the problem with it. Mm. Let's stick me up there. So you're talking about the other players then. So how do you get on then? Is there like, are you all just really good friends? Do you sort of turn up at a new tournament and it's all happy to see each other? Uh, or are you all just quite focused and separate? I think there's this sort of little groups that kind of form on the tour where a lot of people have been sort of friends for a long time. Um, even though I've been around now, I'm still sort of one of the younger ones at the top of the game. So. I kind of try and keep myself to myself. There's a, there's a few people, um, sort of Jack, Jack Lazowski and a few others that, of the younger kind of generation that I hang around with. But other than that, I don't try to get too friendly with them because there's it, only so much... When you play someone that you're friends with, it just becomes so much more awkward. Really? And, Is it difficult then? Yeah, it's a lot more difficult and I'd rather just hate everyone and it, it <laughs> definitely helps me play better. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's very easy to hate Ben. <laughs> now that's why I miss that. That's why I miss that nine ball because <laughs> yeah. I like Ben too yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> too lovable, the lovable legend. <laughs> so what's the tour tour like then? Is it is it grueling? Is it just hotel after hotel and planes and it's just. Everybody sort of thinks it's brilliant to get paid, lose money for playing snooker, but yeah, it's got to be hard work, isn't it? It, it is it's hard, um, and there's a lot of stuff that you kind of don't see behind the scenes and the, the travel, and the, where snooker still isn't sort of a massive sport and the money's not great a little bit further down the rankings, you're always, a lot of the players are just on their own a lot of time, and there's been there's times when I travel around to China and you're on a different time zone, um, everyone else is asleep back home, and you're just on your own. You can't sleep, you're just stuck in your room, just sat in your room like 18 hours a day really, you play your game and you become like quite quite draining emotionally and, and um, you can get quite depressed really, just, just spending that much time and travel on your own is, is quite tough. So nowadays I've got, um, my brother always tra travels with me, I've got Ryan my manager and sort of brand manager Claire behind the scenes and for me I, I kind of need a team around me just to be able to stick to my snooker and not have to worry about what's going on at home or, or, yeah. or anything like that. It's just my mind is completely on snooker and on the job and I can go with my brother and practice four or five hours a day and get that done and just con concentrate on sort of the, the main things. Yeah. So it's literally that much practice? Yeah. It's, it's, I think I've always been a hard practicer, but then just having my brother there the past two or three years has just sort of taken the, the quality up a notch. And yeah. Is that something um, new then, relatively new that you've been practicing with him? Yeah, uh, he, he moved up with me about three years ago in Chigwell. Um, and even though we moved, moved back December last year, it, the practice, just the, the quality is just non-stop for four or five hours. And for me, it's something I'm more about sort of the quality rather than the quantity. There's people that say they practice eight, ten hours a day. It, it doesn't matter. The, the amount that I squeeze into my four or five hours is better than 24 hours of of nonsense yeah. hitting the ball yeah, yeah. so it's something that I've managed to do in it and I think that's why the, the results have really come over the past few years. So do you have a planned routine that you know that it's Thursday, this is what we do on a Thursday or is it you turn up and feel what you want to work on? Or To, to be honest every day is, is very similar, it's always the same stuff, it's the same kind of stuff to get routines to get warmed up, then you go on to the more advanced stuff, if I've got a big tournament um, then, then sometimes I'll play an extra hour or two at the end of the day, but it's normally sort of a set amount of time and a set, a set sort of distance of time. Um, but 
yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been good for me just to have that sort of consistency and in every day is I don't want to sort of let him down and not go in and practice. So you kind of have to motivate yourself to really get in there. Yeah. Did you enjoy practicing or were some days you're turning up thinking, I'm really not feeling this? Uh, it's, it's tough because there could be like a minor event and I really want to go in and practice because I feel like my game's in good shape. And then there's other times where it could be a big tournament coming up and you just know that you're not playing quite as well. And it's the last thing you want to do is go in and, and play snooker. Um, but I think where I've just been so set in my ways and I. I love winning so much, I'm just willing to go in, get in there and, and do the work and then yeah. get out and have fun after. Have you found that, that your motivation, your drive has become more or does it yeah. ebb and flow or how, what's your kind it, of... It's it sort of, it went season by season, so one season I'd feel really good, the next one not as good, but I, I managed to stay sort of consistent on like a level playing field over the past three years, having a brother with me, so... I think um, if I win a tournament or not, I try not to get too high and too low now, just try and stay on that, that medium ground um, so you're not getting too upset when you lose and not getting too high when you win. Yeah.